First year up there, she had a couple opportunities, wasn't able to get a shot. And now this is her second year in New Brunswick, and uh, she has this young bear come in. He turns around, he spooks off, and she doesn't quite understand what's going on. She checks the wind, and then a few minutes later, she realizes why that bear left. As you can see, Millie thought, her initial thought was she had a pretty decent hit on the, the bear. She'd run a brand new camera, so she's not quite familiar with the controls she had on how to play it back and, and watch it in slow-mo, see where her hit exactly is. <clears throat> so the guide comes there and you know they look and soon she realizes that her shot was not lethal. And when she got back to camp, we checked and actually the air just went through the paw of the bear, which really done no harm. Um, done a lot of harm on Millie, you know, that's a good way to get your confidence knocked down and then they can really mess with your mind. But she's stubborn. She got at it. And I mean, she's going to stay in that stand. She's going to hunt. She's going to hunt hard. And I'm hoping for her that she's successful by the end of this week. She needs it. I'm just getting settled in for my last hunt of the week. I'm back in the stand that I was in on Monday, hoping to have some redemption. I uh, had an opportunity at a nice one, and I honestly just let my nerves get the best of me.
redemption feels so freaking good. Bear down, bear down. Well, that's what I like to see. Whew. That looks promising. Frank, why don't you talk a little bit about why you chose that stand? The, the, the yeah, history, because he can put it in. The, the history can, of the dungeon. We're, we're running yeah. red, right? Well, the reason I chose the stand was that uh, I've been going there and we've been baiting Lake and we've been feeding them chocolate cake there for about a month. <laughs> and anyway, I knew there was three bear there for short the stand and possibly more than that there. And there was one better sized one, which uh, she was very fortunate tonight and made an excellent shot and everything like that. And anyway, uh, you know, you go with what your best odds are. You go every day and the barrel's over. I can't say the bear hit at night or when it hit, but, you know, if you're there, it'll dark. So anyway, and every night we've been there, we saw a bear. We hunted three evenings and saw a bear every evening. So yes. it's, it's not like we was hunting a new place or anything like that there. So, And on Friday night, I believe you have to go with the odds games, like buying lottery tickets, you know. If you buy now and again, you're not going to win. But if you buy every night steady, you're going to win. So anyway, we went with the steady. And today she told me before we know that, she had practiced with her bow, and she had practiced with somebody else's bow, Jim or Joe's, and, and the shots were all right in the, you know, in a group. <laughs> so it built up her confidence, and uh, she built up mine, too. And when I heard that radio crack, <laughs> she said, bear, bear down, bear, bear down. <laughs> but then when I seen that, 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 where the bear, it was shot right through the heart. I checked the heart when I dressed it out, and there was a hole right through the bottom of his heart. And that's the reason, like, there was a blood trail there. It looked just like the white line on a public highway. <laughs> or yellow line. I don't, I don't like color there in the States. But anyway. <laughs> Millie was able to take down a beautiful bear on the very last evening of her hunt. Uh, I couldn't be more excited for her, the guides, uh, all of her teammates. We were, we were all pumped up. We had been fishing. We came up back a little bit early to pack up the trailers because we had to leave 4 a.m. next morning. And, you know, we seen Frank's truck sitting there and it was just we were all fired up. We knew. We knew she'd gotten one. Pulling up that truck, I could see that Luminoc lit. We looked out looking back out and it was a giant. The biggest in camp, the biggest, I've never seen one that big in the woods. Um, I was excited for her, so proud of her. She needed it. Last night, last call, he showed up. Good job, Millie.